Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I edited this photo. Uh, I've been getting a lot of great feedback on this. Everybody seems to really love the colors in it and uh, they are definitely enhanced off of the original photo which was a lot more dull. Um, in hindsight I think I probably pushed these colors in my original edit here a little bit far so I'm probably not going to go quite as much uh, in this video today but we'll get somewhere in this neighborhood. And just to show you um, here is the original photo. So uh, that was my final edited one that I've been sharing. And this is the original photo. So as you can see, uh, pretty big difference there. So I'm going to start out right here in Lightroom. And uh, first things first, going to head over and do a crop. Uh, now originally I had stuck with just the native crop, but a good friend of mine, Scott Keys, had suggested going a little bit more panorama and going off uh, original proportions with it and that ended up being the right call because um, there wasn't a whole hell of a lot going on all the way up top there so uh, somewhere ballpark in here is where I'll go with that crop so first thing is I'm going to edit the entire photo just to get the bird looking good so uh, definitely going to punch it up here add a little contrast kick the shadows up a little bit bring the blacks back down Push that a little bit too far in the shadow, so I'll bring them back. So yeah, somewhere in there is probably going to be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to saturate the whole thing just a little bit to start giving some of those colors. So this was taken just before the sun actually came up. Uh, so all the colors are really muted, a little bit pastel. Uh, so I'm just looking to enhance them. So the next thing I'm going to do is use the graduated filter up top here and try and add in, just enhance the pink in that sky a little bit there. Get that kind of purple hue. That I actually remember seeing a little bit more of it with my eye than you do in this original photo, which is why I'm gonna push it a little bit further. And then I'm actually gonna add another one, the bottom here, to enhance the water and make that a little bit more blue. That's going a little bit turquoise, so we'll take that saturation down just a touch. So, something like that is where we'll get started, and into Photoshop we'll go. Alright, so here in Photoshop, um, make a blank retouch layer. Just going to come through the image, make sure there's no dust spots, anything weird happening in the background there. Everything's looking pretty good. So little bit of splotchy water right here I'm gonna smooth up and the one thing I really didn't like was this one rogue wave there uh, that really just stood out when you look at it overall this really dark spot I wasn't a big fan of so I actually cloned that out which is a real simple fix not a big deal at all make it look pretty natural there and there we go uh, so that's about it on the cloning. Uh, I think I might actually soften up this one just a touch. So I'll snag some from the right side there and just, I, I'll still leave that one there, but just kind of soften it a little bit. There we go. So looking good. Uh, next step is I want to make the bird stand out a little bit more. So curves adjustment layer, add some contrast and lightning to that. And I'm going to paint that in there a little bit. And there you can see it's making those feathers really stand out. So here I'll turn that on and off so you can kind of see what that's doing. Definitely helps that out. And let's go a little bit of contrast on the background there. And I am going to go a little bit more blue, less turquoise with the watercolor. So we'll paint that in down here. Just going to go right over the bird, then come back and remove it from the bird. And a touch more enhancement on that pink sky, which is what really everybody seems to be loving. Same thing, I'm just going to paint it right over the bird's head, then come back and remove it a little bit. And there we have it. That's pretty much where I think I'm going to go. So here's the changes in Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then we'll go back to Lightroom here. And let's take a look here. Let that update. Alright, so here's where we left Lightroom and went to there. 
So here again is the original edit that I've been sharing. As you can see, I really do think I pushed that a little too far. It's a little too heavy on the saturation, especially in the blues here, and it's a little bit too pink. This is a little bit more natural, but still has kind of the same vibe to it. Uh, so there you go. Uh, let me reset this one more time here, just so you can see an entire beginning to end. There you go. Original on the left, finished on the right. Real simple edit. Didn't take long at all. And uh, thanks for watching.